Hey guys, Dirk here from Addictive Tips. So in this video here, we'll be talking about how to make your own audiobooks. So this program is mainly targeted at people who are compiling their own audiobooks, you know, uh, maybe you've recorded some audio and you want to make it to sell it or whatever. In this video, I'm going to be using an audiobook that I have on my computer just to demonstrate what's going on because I, I don't have time to sit down and record my own audiobooks. But if you wanted to, you could do that too. It's And uh, even if you don't have like your own audiobook and maybe you have MP3s of the book that you want, compiled into an audiobook format you can also use that too so don't so so there are multiple uses for it but uh what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check the link in the description and once you do that you can learn how to install m4 baker then you're going to want to open it up so m4 baker you know you can build it from source on most distributions and it's pretty useful in that case because uh you don't have to rely on packages and we cover all of that in my article but anyway so once you've got this open you can go and you can click the edit button and then add audiobook now from here you need to go to your audiobook section or wherever the files are and in my case it's going to be right here now you have to select each file individually what you should do is just press Control a and that will let you highlight every single file in the folder rather than just one at a time you then click import so from here, let's maximize it. You see that this folder here is, it takes on the title of the folder that it came from. And if I want to edit it, I can double click and I can do, and I can do it that way. And that will change the overall title of the book. I can also change the cover right here by adding the cover. And if I want to edit anything else, I can do that and then the output file I can change and I can set this to output to my desktop if I'd like to click save once everything looks good to me uh, and I didn't have to change the chapter numbers or anything just because the files in the if you look at the files it's already set like that but you know if you're making your own and you're not using an existing book format or a book uh, bit of file uh, if you're not using mp3 files excuse me that already have track numbers then you may want to do that but so once you've got all your stuff added, you can just click process all. Now this is going to go through and it will encode everything little by little. So on some Linux distributions that you compile the software, you might have problems encoding. In my testing, it's always worked. And uh, the best advice I can give you is that if you're not if you're not encoding it correctly or if it's not working, maybe look through the settings. Uh, you know, install the codex that it asks for and it should work just fine. Alright, so our encoding is almost done. And uh, once it's complete, we can see our book file is right here. And then I can open this book file with whatever audiobook player that I'd like. I'm going to open it with VLC just because I don't have an audiobook app, but uh, you should check out some of those. We have links for that too. But uh, just click the open and we see this is our audiobook and you see these little dots here are the chapters and the, the different files and we can go through and listen to our book and that's how you can make your own audiobooks on Linux with M4 Baker. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.